In April we've done the consolidation and the Arcanlux B ISIS won't be built anymore. Does that mean that the website has no meaning anymore or that we can't build anymore? Of course not. You can build as much as you like, but just not on the code of Arcanlux B. You need to readdress, re-look at things, reinvent things. So this is the reason, well, in a, a, not a reason, to just an, a readme to announce the change. And the repositories, the repository you should use to build is going to be Arconet. Or in the case of if you want already Plasma, you know what you're going to do, use this one. But Arconet is going to be for 80-90% if you don't want Plasma, it's going to be the ISO to build. And I just made a video how to create an Arconet with ChatWM. And the like 13, 14 tiny window managers, you can put all of them. It's just a matter of copy pasting some code and then you can build it. But now I have a different what if. We have this Arco Plasma, which is a minimal plasma. And we give you inside Calamaris here, we give you the choice to actually install all the rest, the full enchilada or the full option Plasma, all the packages that Plasma Arginix gives you. And it's all in the file desktop YAML. So if you scroll down to the P, this is what you need for a Plasma Minimal. And this is what you need for a Plasma Full Option. Every single meta package that we've found is in here. Meta, 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 etc. Okay? All the games on there. And I just wonder, how big is that? What if I would build this thing? How big is that? Because I will go to the beach. I would have internet and I want to have everything there on that particular USB and I'll burn it on the machine. Okay, so that's the workflow of the, that's the project. I can reuse a bit of my work previously, but let's just start from scratch again. So I need to build an ISO. You go to the Arco Pro Net. Arconet Pro, that's the end. Positories. You go to Arco Pro, Arconet, right? This is 80% correct, but not if you want to go for Plasma. If we go for Plasma, we're going to take this one. Oh, yeah, everything is already set up for Plasma. And we say git clone, that's that. I need to know what packages I need to add. In this one, packages x86, this is the long list of all the packages. Basically, they're all Lego blocks, and I choose which Lego blocks. Okay, this is a previous thing. Where can I find to choose these, these full option thing? Well, back to Calamaris. In Calamaris, you can select that. So, Arco Plasma Calamaris Config. Arco Plasma Calamaris Configuration. And well, best thing is just grab everything and then look at it. Git clone control shift V. One up, one up, and go down in the modules. You'll find a net install desktop YAML. And here it is. So, yes, I want to have this. This is our work, right? This is our design. Yes, I want that. So straight on the ISO, we're on the beach. I want the ISO that contains that. We go to the packages x86 and at the bottom, we just copy paste. Put those Lego blocks on my ISO. Same thing for this guy. This is the plasma full thing, control C. And the rest is already there. It is already a plasma, right? It is echo, minimal plasma. So this is the extra, extra from us and extra for Arch. Okay, Control V. Let's do that a little bit like this. Now the tip again, and that's why I love Sublime Text so much, and I always use it because I 
put my cursor here take a look at the keyboard left side shift mouse ref, uh, right mouse click drag keep and drag down Whoopla. backspace 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 done we are done we can build it we are done we'll get a full plasma setup and of course you can go ahead here's the rest right here's the minimal stuff and yes there will be doubles doesn't matter only you will know that because when you build it the system is going to install it and a little bit later it's going to install it and <laughs> maybe a little later install it again but on the ISO it will just be installed once right but also here there's a tip if you select things like that up and then edit sort lines f9 and if you combine these things with the things up there right it's your file on your computer you do whatever you want f9 and then you see doubles 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 no yes no right kd connect double so it will just be installed double it'll just uh, take a little bit more time but that's it i think we are good to go like i said it doesn't matter right just a few seconds longer to build an iso that's all so this is the knowledge what are the lego blocks what do i need to get mate what do i need to get xmonad what do i get etc you copy paste it inside the file packages x86 that's the workflow for anything and there you go for 40 and if you don't like firefox put a hashtag in front of it don't you like uh, vivaldi or chromium or right or you want code or you want this and want that add it in each line for me personally i will not use this thing but i just want to know how many gigabyte will it be <laughs> that's the thing that's the what if that popped into my mind and i said okay so plasma is this big that's the one we give to you in a short while three six one six that's the number i'm gonna you see there's always a difference three four no 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 three six one six and then we'll see how big this one is with everything from plasma okay see you in a bit let's look at the results so we got ourselves an iso 4.4 it says here it was 3.6 here and the out is arconet out arco plasma out is better right mouse click properties and then you compare five six four six that's not a lot i would have expected a lot more right so 300 not even can't be right oh yeah sorry <laughs> now i see <laughs> from 3.6 to 4.6 eric one gigabyte okay so if i want to have everything 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 it will cost me one gigabyte right that was a misser so how does it look how 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 right let's include it in the same video just quickly boot up and, and have a look so this is the one 4.3 from today boot up and then tell them there is a new cd-rom in there boot from that and then you'll see all the games are there all the meta packages it's all all there and if that's your thing build this iso burn it on a usb type on it full and then put it on the shelf and each time you need it just put it in because in the beginning you will break things right it's normal in linux because you're experimenting and you're removing this and adding that and oops you put in usb and you're back up and running between 10 and 15 minutes you run your scripts and everything is set up what do we get come on so the only reason i'm making this is just for the number one gigabyte the meta packages would cost us one gigabyte 
in the UI so but it means I don't have I don't need the internet it's on the ISO and all you have to do is the easy installation because easy installation is what you see is what you get all right this one is offline so what's already here is gonna go on there well, let's go to the games and talking of games if you'd like to have install steam on it install steam on it right just a few words in the packages x8664 it's gonna be on there but then of course you'll have you'll need internet to game <laughs> that's something else there are so many packages in there i've never ever tried nor will i ever use them right choices Voila. enjoy building your isos it's still very much possible to build isos with anything on it it's a workflow thing basically and then you're good to go cheers